Welcome to the Griffin School. Uh, my name is Stephen Chuk. I'm the assistant head teacher uh, responsible for teaching and learning. I'm just going to talk you through uh, just a couple of minutes on the Griffin Fundamentals. Now, the Griffin Fundamentals effectively form the school's teaching and learning policy and the school's expectations of staff. Um, there are 10 fundamentals, which I will talk you through on the next couple of slides. Um, and the reason we've got 10 is because it reflects sort of Christian foundations that we have as a school to be a 10-10 school, a 10 out of 10 school. Um, but that is rooted um, in the Bible and in John chapter 10, verse 10, where we firmly believe that all members of the school community should live life in all of its fullness. Um, and we really do place uh, extra emphasis on the arts, the sports, uh, the trips, uh, and the extracurricular stuff that, that, that can really add value to students, as well as getting ex, uh, uh, excellent exam results as well. Okay, so the Griffin Fundamental, we'll start with the first one, obviously, is relationships. And it's really important and something we really value at the Griffin School, uh, that all staff need to work hard to develop positive relationships with students and to create a safe environment um, for everyone to thrive. Um, the head teacher Nikki Edwards often talks about relentless positivity of staff uh, to break down those barriers and it really is something that, uh, that we firmly buy into. Um, the second one is planning. Um, it's really important that all students have work that they can do just, um, and it's up to the teachers in the, in the individual departments and the heads of department to ensure that uh, the curriculum matches the needs of all students. Um, and we, we effectively expect all students to be engaged, challenged in every single lesson, and that they are making progress in each individual lesson and over time as well. And we track that data uh, via our data drops regularly within the school. Um, number three, obviously seating plans, uh, they are in place for all teaching and tutor groups. We don't have a specific um, way of making staff do that. It's up to teachers uh, to decide how best they um, they see fit to, to establish seating plans within their groups. Um, and it's they, they need to be saved on Progresso so that anyone can access their seating plans. But it's up to each individual teacher to establish which learning environment they see um, can maximise the potential of all students. Um, which is why we uh, have seen plans as one of the fundamentals. Um, presentation is crucial as well, and we really expect all staff to make sure that students' books are immaculate um, and that they have data tracking sheets stuck in the front, any other information sheets stuck in. All titles and dates should be underlined and all sheets should be stuck in. And, you know, the presentation of books should be exemplary in all lessons. Uh, Griffin fundamental number five is routines um, and we, we, we firmly believe at the Griffin that core routines are crucial in promoting a calm and focused learning environment. Staff should be greeting students as they enter the room, students enter and leave the room in an orderly and timely manner using the one-way systems that we have in school provided. Uh, learning should begin immediately via, via an entry uh, task or a starter task. Uh, registers, electronic registers should be taken at the start of every lesson and anyone who is absent is tracked. Um, and now for this year, 2022-23, um, we have two extra things that we expect staff to do, and that is have a one voice policy in the classroom at all points, unless specified otherwise by the teacher. And the other one is that the task expectations should be part of everybody's routine throughout the lessons, in which that every time a task is set by a member of uh, a teacher, um, all students are aware of what is expected of them, how to do it, whether it's done in silence or group work, and what to do when they complete it. Number six is homework. Um, it's something we really value in this school and it's something that when done properly can really add value and be the difference uh, and make real significant progress for students. Um, we set it uh, via Microsoft Teams now and parents get a weekly reminder of what is expected of them. Uh, there's details on this slide of how much is expected of them as well, um, but we firmly believe that homework when set correctly um, really should dovetail nice, nicely with the teaching and should really extend uh, students and add value. Um, number seven of the Griffin Fundamentals is student progress. Um, all students should know exactly what their targets are for every subject. Um, and more importantly than, that, than knowing what their targets are, they should know exactly how to get to the next level, um, which is why as part of our Mark 12 progress, um, we often set now and, ne now and next time tasks, which I'll talk about on the next slide. Um, yeah, and, and within these uh, targets, data tracking sheets should be stuck in the front of everyone's books which tracks what they've done and how they are performing against target. 
Summative assessment is uh, number eight in the Griffin Fundamentals. Uh, and at the end of year, we expect all students have 12 diagnostic marks in their mark book, uh, which is stored on Progresso electronically. But more importantly, for the students at the front of their book, they should be able to track how well they have done in 12 assessed pieces of work. And they can then compare that to target. Um, and that's obviously a crucial way for students to track their own progress and for staff as well to identify anyone who is underperforming and then put adequate intervention in place. Um, in terms of formative assessment, which forms number nine on the Griffin Fundamentals, um, after each uh, of their 12 diagnostic marks, um, which we call Mark 12, um, each student should um, be given uh, now and next time tasks for them to uh, improve on their work now and understand what they need to do in future to improve on their work further. Uh, and lesson, lesson, plan, lesson time should be incorporated uh, to do this um, sort of dirt and recovery tasks. Um, ideally, response to this should be in purple pen. Um, and also, as well as this now, there is, a, uh, as, as of 2022, 23, there is now a literacy task embedded in all formative assessment um, as one of the school targets. It's really important that we, we focus on that uh, within every single lesson and with every single formative assessment that students do. Uh, and the last one linked to that, as I've just mentioned, is number 10 is literacy. Um, and we firmly believe at the Griffin that all teachers play a part in, in, in extending student literacy, not just um, the teachers of English. Um, and that's why we have um, embedded literacy within all feedback tasks in all subjects um, so that we can hopefully improve literacy for every single student uh, and they will see the benefit of this in their future life um, and also within their exams as well.